because in Fansipim School is now cutting the help of parents to bail them out of their power crisis after the government defaulted on payments. Headmaster of the school, Ebenezer Kobne Edo, in a speech at the school speech and prize giving day revealed the school is in distress and can currently not afford to pay electricity bills. He disclosed that out of 204,000 cities accumulated between January and October this year, the government has only paid half with an outstanding amount of 100 115,000 Ghana cities. Listen. We don't have enough furniture in the classrooms. Currently, we need 250 on the desk to ensure that all our students are well seated. These students are using battle chairs in the classrooms, which is not comfortable. Headmaster of Infant Spim School, Ebenezer Kobna Edu, sharing some of the challenges the school has been grappling with, ranging from the payment of prepaid to the general issues of infrastructure. He wants parents in the various houses of the students to lend their support. High cost of electricity. Zeman, we are prepaid. And we always struggle to purchase power. This year alone, from January to October 31st, we have spent 204,000 cities on prepaid. Fortunately, the government has given us 89,000 Ghana cities, leaving 115,000 cities. This is indeed very worrying and frustrating as a school. Installation of solar panels on various blocks would be a better option for us. Meanwhile, I wish to call on all parents of various houses to support the purchase of power in these houses. Presiding Bishop of the Methodist Church Ghana, Right Reverend Dr. Paul Kwabnabuafu, wants management of the school to continue to maintain the standards and the principles of the school. But it will always be a standard here at all times, and the board would want to plead with the management that our Christian values, our Christian principles are not left behind. Even in this age where we seem to acquire knowledge at the expense of morality, we pray that Infantspin will stand tall and churn out nature students who will come out with a heart, who will come out with a love for nature, who will come out with a love for humanity who come out with a love that is beyond the artificial intelligence. A mobile 93 and head of the medical intensive care unit at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital, Dr. Yao Oforieje, want the educational system to be more inclined towards technology so the country's industrialization drive could be supported. We must move beyond short-term fixes and embrace a holistic approach that equips our students with the skills and knowledge needed to navigate our ever-evolving digital landscape. It is imperative that we introduce digital technology at the early stages of education during the formative years of our children when their cerebral capacity has no limits. It is not enough to simply introduce technology in our classrooms. We must empower our educators with the tools and training necessary to maximize its potential. The Fantipim School has been holding its 147th anniversary that got many old students and the various stakeholders of the school joined them to take stock of the activities of the school in the course of time. Reporting for Joy News, Richard Kwejenyakon.